another day, another problem. So let's solve it. Hello beautiful people, today we're gonna solve the group anagrams problem. So let's start by reading the problem. Given an array of strings, group the anagrams together, you can return the answer in any order. So the question gives us a list of words or list of string, and they ask you to return a function of a list that have a group of list of anagrams. And as we know, anagrams are words that are written by the same letter, but rearranged it differently. For example, the word adopt is a both, because both of these words have the same letters, but rearranged it differently. So let's say we have a group of strings inside a list e t tan eight nat and bat the answer is gonna be a list that hold a group of list of anagrams the answer is gonna be a list that hold a group of lists of anagrams so there is a two way to solve this problem the hard way and the easy way so let's say about the hard solution first we will try to put all of the letters in the string inside the list in alphabetical order and after that we're gonna sort all the words inside the list alphabetically or in order but the problem is that we don't know how to find the original word from which we can make an anagram so let's change a little bit how we are going to solve this problem instead of putting the word in alphabetical order we will make a new list or array of indices and the indices is gonna be attached to each word inside the list and after that we sort the word alphabetically and we're gonna start sorting the word that are already sorted but the difference between the first way that we have done before is that each word gonna have his indices like his index for example it gonna have zero t gonna have one tan gonna have two eight gonna have three nat gonna have four and bad gonna have five and after that we sort the letter inside the word so each time we sort word inside the, in the list it's gonna be holding his indices like for the first one a b t it's gonna hold the five which is four we sort and it was at the last index of the list so now we have sorted all the indices according to the sorted order of the list that have all the anagrams sorted so with this method we can easily find the original word that have formed the anagrams by just using the indices or the index so all we're gonna do now is to iterate throughout the array of indices and we're gonna say at the first index what anagrams we are dealing with it first one it's gonna be a b t so we're gonna create a new group of anagrams and add the original original word that have formed for example bat to the next list and then we move to the next word and then we get to the tricky step at index zero our anagrams are e a t so the new anagrams are a e t and we add at the original word to the list which is e a t it because the index is zero then we move to the next indices and this one we repeat the same thing and that index one we are dealing with the anagrams e a t and the original word have formed the anagrams are t at index one and we add it to the group of anagrams then we move to the next index which is three so the anagrams are a e t and the original word that have the index three are a t e the next index are two with a new anagram which is a and t we look for the word at the original list so the word is tan last index are four with anagram ent so the original word are nat and now we have found a group of anagrams so this is the way we solve this problem it's, it's it's a little bit hard and require a lot of thinking so for the code explanation the first thing we're gonna do is to make a new list with all the same strings but this time we will put them in alphabetical order and we will go throughout the string and call the sorted function for each one this will create a list of the letters and then we will use the join method to turn the list of letters into string and after that we create a list of indices and we sort the list of indices such that they represent the order of the sorted strings but the sorted string should be sorted alphabetically this line ba basically says when we are dealing with the index 0 and 1 compare the two sorted string at 0 and 1 see which one comes before the other alphabetically and sort them then we're gonna create an empty array that's gonna be the result and we're gonna initialize a current anagram list which is gonna be an empty array and finally we're gonna have the current anagram that we are looking for it that's gonna be the sorted string at the first index of indices array so we're gonna iterate throughout the indices we're gonna take the string at the current index 
Also, we're going to take the sorted string at the current index. And we're going to check if the sorted string are equal to the current anagram. If yes, we add it to the current anagram list and we continue. If the sorting string are not equal to the current anagram, we add the current anagram to the result and we update the current anagram list to the new word. And we change the current anagram to the sorting string because we are at the new string because we continue even if the current anagram is not equal to the sorted string. Finally, we add the last current anagram list to the result list because we are breaking the loop before we are done with it. And we return the result. So for the first solution and the hard solution, the time complexity are o of s and log n plus n s log s so because we are sorting the arrays and you know that sorting takes o of n log n where n is the length of the input arrays so for every string we have s strings so we sort each string which is gonna take o of s and log n the second thing that we have done it is that we have an array of indices and we are sorting the indices based on the order of the alphabetically anagrams that are already sorted so the s log s come from sorting an arrays of length s and n gonna be the comparison that we compare the word each time for the space complexity it's gonna be o of s and the simpler solution and the optimal solution is once we have sorted all the word, we can just group them in a hash table and group all the anagrams together. So we're going to iterate throughout the strings uh, in the input strings and we, we sort each word and we check if we already have it inside the hash table. If yes, we append the anagrams inside the list of the word that we are currently at. If we don't have it, we start a new group of anagrams, a new list of anagrams, and so on. For the second solution, the time complexity is going to be O of S and log n because we are iterating in all the strings and for each string we are sorting the letters. For the space complexity, it's going to be O of S and because we are creating a new hash table where we are storing all the anagrams and the n is the length of the longest word.